Hello guys, uh, uh, welcome back again. Uh, so this is part two of uh, the the part two of uh, working with uh, Google A Blogger API using the using the Python. So we'll be doing the authentication via Auth2 and zero. So till now we have covered till here. So like we have enabled enabled our api in a particular project and then so now we will be covering how we will be uh, creating our uh, clients.json file the clients.json file is required for authentication purposes so uh, i'm clicking on configure consent so i was on the credentials page uh, that's where I uh, that's where I saw uh, the the warning message that was showing on the top. When I clicked on it, I will be navigated to auth consent screen. So auth consent screen has two options basically. It is for internal purpose. Like if you have already created, uh, if you are uh, if you have the G suit, then you can use the internal. Uh, has I'm not the part of uh, the. I don't have the G suit, uh, so I'll be clicking on external available to any user with the google account so once i click on it it will just ask me an uh, name application name so you can just type it anything and you can leave the default things so if you have the logo you can upload it here also it will show up when uh, whenever uh, whenever the like consent pages consent page will open i'll show you when uh, when we are on that page so this is this is the logo you can remember that so i'm just clicking on save and then i'm going back to credentials so here i'll be creating the credit auth2 client id so this is this is the client uh, id uh, page where you can create the auth2 client id so my application is uh, right now web application uh, so you can leave with the defaults and then you can, here you can add if you are testing on a local server you can use this so local local host local host 8090 and then you can just click on create once you have created a pop up appears uh, which gives you the client ID and the secret ID. Uh, just click on download, uh, and then your web, uh, your client ID is downloaded. Now this is the secret ID. So right now, what I'll do is I'll go back to uh, the. So this is the one which I have already executed one. So what I'll do is I'll create a new one uh, with the name Python test. Python blogger test. I did anything here. So I am creating a new one. Uh, so here I'll be. Uh, so just now I downloaded the client secret folder. So I'm just copying it and I'm pasting it here. So uh, I'll be renaming this as client underscore secret. secret so it is uh, important uh, to make sure that we match the names here so because uh, we are going to use the same name while we are trying to access this particular file so right now the uh, in this folder uh, i have only one json dot uh, client secret dot json file so in this particular folder so right now we are done with uh, we are done with the creating the folder and this is how you know the client application folder will look like so I'll just open it and I'll show you so this is uh, this is the client secret so guys I'll be deleting this once the tutorial is done so you will not be able to access this uh, even if you are uh, trying to access this okay so next thing is next thing is we have to install uh, the plugins these are libraries sorry these are not plugins these are libraries so basically I'll go to TMD 
and as an administrator i'm going to so the, uh, right now i'm on the c folder so i'll be changing it to cd so my this is folder in block right here this is the uh, this is the folder where it contains so right now it's blogger python test python blogger blogger test so this is where uh, i'm i'm having the client.json file so if you can see uh, this is the folder this is the file the client.json which we have downloaded uh, from the api the google's api so uh, what I'll do is I'll install few plugins which are uh, required for running our program for running uh, for connecting with the Google API. So the first one is so I'm just executing it. So uh, like you, you should be seeing uh, you should be seeing a success message. Uh, once you have installed this uh, library so since this has been already installed on my system it says requirement already satisfied so for your case if it is the first time that you are installing this library uh, you should be seeing uh, the success message so once you are done with that you need to install this library as well the http uh, lib library so so this one is already already satisfied uh, so the next one is auth so these are the libraries that you should be uh, installing to run our code so even this one is uh, installed on my system so the next thing the next thing after uh, after installing the library Installing, I think. Okay. So uh, I, I'll copy this. I'll copy this, and I'll create a new uh, Python file. I'll use Python 3.7. So I'll create a new file, and I'll save it in the folder. So the blogger api this is the folder where uh, we are trying to execute our program python blogger test. you can read you can name it any anything here so the test thing, test thing, test thing. so this file is stored now i think i don't need this this page uh, this is the content just i copied from the uh, from that article so once i save it i have just now saved it right now what i'll do is i'll just write it as python python uh, so this is the this is our uh, um, program this is our python program i just copied it and i just pasted it so if everything is successful we should be seeing the message I'm seeing an error. Give me a moment. Let me check this. Uh, so, uh, what, what uh, exactly happened? Uh, you know, so the indentation problem. I just uh, made the indent. I just resolved the indentation. So you just need to make sure that all the indents are are uh, properly aligned so that you won't receive any kind of error messages. Uh, I'll just which ones. So I'm okay with this. So so now you should be you will be seeing this message. So where it is where the Google is asking me to grant uh, to choose the account, and then it will ask me to give the permission for the blogger. Uh, so then once I'll allow it, you will see. Uh, so the authentication flow is completed. 
and now you should be seeing the authentication successful message okay so the authentication has been successfully completed uh, and now you will see credentials files so you know i saved in the same folder and the uh, credentials dot storage file has been created for us okay so uh, the code you know if you go through the code you will understand it better so here whatever we are doing is we are trying to get the information from the storage file so if the storage file doesn't exist if it contains none in that case the flow from client secrets so it will actually try to generate generate in the sense uh, it will actually uh, user consent will be popped up google user consent will be popped up uh, and it will ask us to grant the permission so it, so when whenever we are running for the second time so if i am running the program for the second time you can see it here it says the the google uh, or program didn't ask us for authentication because we have the storage dot credential file here the information is fetched from here so that is the reason we are not we are not uh, we are not uh, popped up with an authentication uh, page so if if the page doesn't exist let me delete this let me delete this file so that you can understand better so now i have deleted this and i'll rerun the program again so it won't find the file and it will ask for me the pop up asking me to choose the account and it will ask for the permission again the flow has been completed and now you will you should see a credentials dot storage file here so this has been uh, this is the the purpose of uh, this code is to uh, is to complete the authentication we are done with the authentication now we will see uh, how to retrieve the blog in blogs from the um, uh, from the blogger in the in the coming tutorial in the next tutorial thank you